Hi, I'm Miles. I'm the senior pastor of Holy Trinity Bukit Bintang, HTBB, a church here in KL in Malaysia. And I'm also the executive director of Alpha Asia Pacific. Like many churches, the pandemic of 2020 has forced us to pivot our Alpha online. And it really works. Why do I think that? Well, first of all, the reach enables you to reach people that otherwise couldn't attend a physical Alpha, maybe for reasons of faith background, personal circumstance, maybe they're a single parent or they're busy at work, or maybe reasons of geography. Secondly, it works because of retention. Our guest retention rate on Alpha Online at HTBB is 97%. We uh, did a sample amongst the 1,000 churches that have run Alpha Online so far in Asia, and of those uh, churches, their average guest retention rate is 85%. Why? Well, it's so convenient to attend. You just collapse on your sofa and you can join Alpha Online, but also relationships are formed that are real. That's really surprised me. In the small groups in Alpha Online, people genuinely open up, they're vulnerable. There's a great connection uh, in relationships. So uh, reach, retention. Third reason is the registration rate of the Holy Spirit Day is also really high with Alpha Online because it's so convenient. And often it's on the Holy Spirit Day where people come to faith in Christ for the first time and they're filled with the Holy Spirit. You can get a lot more of your guests attending the Holy Spirit Day um, with Alpha Online. Fourth reason is results, it works. And in my small group on this current Alpha, I've had two guests come to faith already. It works. And then fifthly, Alpha Online works because you can release new leaders, again, that could perhaps uh, couldn't help on Alpha beforehand. I think of one young woman on this current round of Alpha. She's leading a small group on Alpha for the first time. She's got a really demanding job. She goes to the office, she works all day, then she goes into a little room, she logs onto Alpha Online, she leads her small group, and then at the end of uh, that evening's Alpha, she's still in the office, she goes back to work. She couldn't have led beforehand. And also young people are really attracted to come and get involved and help host or, or uh, lead on Alpha Online. You know, they're, they're digital disciples, um, they're digital natives, they're attracted to doing Alpha Online. You can really access that youthful talent in your church. So this is why it works. And just a couple of top tips, I'd say, for running Alpha Online. Firstly, how you promote it might be a little bit different. Uh, the testimonies that you share with the congregation to encourage them to invite their friends. Uh, ideally, you want to be using testimonies of people who come to faith on Alpha Online, uh, not face-to-face -face Alpha, if you have those testimonies. Also think about how you promote through social media. You might even want to try trial paying for some ads, either on Facebook or whatever platform. There's so many ways we can promote this and reach with our promotion online. Secondly, we've resurrected the sort of old school Alpha reunion party. So two weeks at the end, after the end of the course, we invite all the guests to a, a, a fun party. Um, we've done that both online and and then this Sunday we're doing it physically. And uh, the, the purpose of that is to have some fun, but then also to help the guests get plugged into the life of the church. Sundays, small groups, or maybe some come back to help on the next Alpha. And the way we train is very similar to when it was face-to-face. -face. A few differences of how we get people to lead the small groups online. Firstly, um, we say the small group might be a little bit smaller uh, online than face-to-face, -face. maybe not 12 people in a small group, perhaps 10. Um, the discussion time, perhaps a little bit shorter online, uh, max maybe 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, thirdly, the way you lead has to be a little bit stronger. When you're sitting face to face and you say, well, what does anyone think? You can throw the question out there and eventually somebody will start talking. But say on Zoom, if you just throw out a question like that, everybody's thinking, well, somebody else is gonna talk first. You might have to be a bit more direct and say, so, um, you know, Jen, what, what do you think? And lead it a bit more strongly. And then the fourth S is be savvy, leverage the technology. Look for that um, tile to go green when somebody's just beginning to speak or wants to speak but isn't quite confident enough, you can then say, oh, were you going to say something? Uh, you use the online chat for people, encourage people who are a bit more shy to comment. Uh, they can agree with statements with the thumbs or, or the clap sign or whatever. Just leverage the, t the technology. Be savvy. And start to think about hybrid alpha as well. So here at HTBB, we're, we're running alpha online uh, 
um, until the end of the year and then next year we're going to do hybrid courses so what does that mean well let's say you were running 20 small groups you might have 10 that meet online and 10 that meet physically but keep going with alpha online i hope some of these tips are helpful you'll be working it all out just as well as we are anyway but keep going the main takeaway is that the impact of your alpha builds over time and you'll be amazed at what happens. You've probably overestimated what you can achieve in one year with Alpha, but I can assure you, I'm sure you've underestimated what you can achieve in five years. Thank you for watching this and for your time. God bless, I hope I can meet you in person one day.